warm body. I was hoping to find you before you turned in for the night. My blood runs hot after the battle. As she looks you up and down, her mind touches yours. You feel her hand at your neck, her lips closing around yours. In Menzo Baranzan, the highborn would prostrate themselves before me for a fleeting taste of my body. Be mine tonight, and you will know why. Your heart skips a beat. What treasures might this night bestow? You are here. Good. Come with me. Now, lie down. Your obedience will make this more enjoyable for both of us. Tell me what you want. And you shall have me. As your bodies lock together, so do your minds. Her whole being is laid bare before you. And half hidden at the center of her desire, you discover something unexpected. Fear. I would have you by my side in Menzo Berenson when our work on the surface is done. Speak to me. Tell me what is in your heart. <laughs> As did I. During the battle, my mind raced. My blood burned. I was righteous. But tonight, I only heard your breath and your voice. The absolute was silent. And, strange to say, that brought me comfort. How is that possible? The artifact pulses softly, sending out a warning. It is afraid. This is blasphemy. But... So much that has happened since I left the Underdark is like a dream of somebody else's life. I do not know myself anymore, except tonight. Tonight, I wanted this for myself. I must pray, and you must rest. Tomorrow, we will have fresh orders. In your dream, you stand over yourself as you sleep. A knife in your hand. Murder in your heart. You are ready to strike, to end your own life. But then a shock runs through your mind. This is no dream. Wake up, true soul. 
We must talk. I watched over you as you slept, peaceful and silent. And I spoke to our god. I asked her why she had chosen you, made you one of her faithful, when you are so clearly broken. Beautiful, but broken. There is something missing in you, and I do not understand it. When the Absolute failed to answer me, I feared that you had somehow infected me with that same absence. And so I decided that you must die. But then, a miracle happened. As I took out my blade, her voice returned to me, and she told me what I must do to purge myself of doubt. She told me to decide your fate, to determine if you are worthy. If you are, I am to send you into her embrace, at the seat of her power. In time, I believe we may be together. Travel to Moonrise. We will meet again there, at the heart of the Absolute's power. I know a way, yes. Soon, you will be in the Absolute's presence. She will test you. If you fail, you will break. If your faith is strong, you will become something even more beautiful. With difficulty, but I can help. The land around Moonrise is cursed. Traveling there will sap your strength and your sanity, but I can protect you. A wretched creature in my service can guide you through the curse. This harp will summon him. Play it when you are in the shadows and he will come to you and know that you are a friend. He was a drow once. Now he is an abomination, a victim of Lolth's cruelty. His minions will wait for you at the mountain pass, on the threshold of the Shadow Curse. I warn you, he is quite mad, but he knows the path to Moonrise better than anyone. Go to him when you are ready. I will lead what remains of my forces to Moonrise ahead of you. <sighs> when we next meet, we will be together in the Absolute's presence, and she will make us her champions.